are, they've done some things in the past. We're going to go to the Diddy situation mm -hmm. for a second. Like, do you sometime, you know, look at that and be like, damn, you know, like, I hate he going through that. Or do you think it's an honest trade off? If it happened, for sure. But what it, what do you think when you see how people are coming back? I'm scared of people because you never know their intentions. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't know. I mean, now with Diddy shit, it's more than one person coming out. Everybody not lying. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. You said um, you crossed that off your bucket list. Mm -hmm. Give me one more thing you have on your bucket list that you want to do. Uh, damn, that's a good question. Really, uh, buying a warehouse. I want to buy a warehouse oh. for. Uh, I want to buy a warehouse for um, like uh, where people can come together and like shoot movies and uh, a production warehouse mm. where people can come through and. Do podcasting. I want to have half of it be like a, a gym. Like, I want to do like a, a creative space. Wow. Like something like where uh, Tyler Perry has in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. hard too. What yeah. he got over there is stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, but smaller. But smaller. But smaller. <laughs> yeah, nothing that crazy. God, I, yeah. I want, I just, I, like I said, I want to ask you, man, you got a big brand. Say Cheese is huge, you know, yeah. when it comes down to what you've been able to accomplish. But you got a lot of people that um, now they're being targeted a lot of times. Are there... Or they've done some things in the past. We're going to go to the Diddy situation mm -hmm. for a second. Like, do you sometime, you know, look at that and be like, damn, you know, like, I hate he going through it. Or do you think it's an honest trade off? If it happened, for sure. But what it, what do you think when you see how people are coming back? It wasn't just him. It was Jamie Foxx. It was mm -hmm. it was a bunch yeah, of them. Lie. It was a bunch. It was because they had that New York thing going yeah. to where you could uh -huh. get, you know, you could really get with, yeah. with that situation. Like, what do you think about it? Like. When you when you when you uh, when you look at your brand and look at the mishap that can happen, that's bro. why I'm. That's you can lose I, everything, man. That's why I'm. That's I'm scared of people because you never know their intentions. Mm -hmm. Like we don't know. I mean, now with Diddy shit, it's more than one person coming out. Everybody not lying. Everybody coming out. Everybody not lying. But it's like uh, there's a lot of people with money that are getting targeted for shit they did eight nine years ago. Like that's why I just try to. That's why I don't be in the club. I don't try to have too many girls. I, you know, I got my girlfriend. I don't do too much, uh, you know, mingling. Because when you have something, you never know what's authentic and what's not. Mm -hmm. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, people scare me, man. You never know. You, like I said, you just never know. How do you avoid those situations? How do you how do you figure out a way to not be victimized or not be caught up if it's a scandal? Uh, now, now, I'm not saying that theirs was a scandal, but what if it is a scandal? What if it's somebody lying? What if, how do you, you know, because yeah. you got, because somebody can go come around way. you one day and just, you know, just not even intimately, and then all of a sudden walk out of the room and, oh, he raped me. Bruh, you see what I'm saying? Man, you gotta you just, be careful, you dude. You just never know, man. And you just gotta keep things documented. Like, man, nah, you didn't, this didn't happen. You text me the other day, you, you know, or mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. You, I don't know, bro. I'm, People, people scare me. You just don't know. Man, they got you films coming out with Cassie on the floor. And they say it's her. I don't know who under that blanket. Where, where they saying he did this and all that. 50 Cent having a ball with this man, shit. Man, I, I love 50 Oh, he 50 always yeah. posted 50, stuff. Come 50, 50 been talking already before all of this. Yeah. This ain't nothing new for 50. Yeah. He always big. going on Madonna, too, for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't he know why. Oh, uh, 50? Yeah, he's oh, yeah. always yeah. going on Madonna. He got certain people, man. I, yeah. Some Big D done as well. Uh, he introduced me to GDP. GDP, 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 the spokesman, you you named him that, yep. right? Like, yeah. what caused you to name it that? And just, because you met him before me at Big D. Yeah, because he, uh, we did a, I made a list talking about uh, um, the hardest cities to blow up out of. And I think New Orleans is the hardest city to blow up out of. New Orleans, Miami, Baltimore, and Ohio. Mm. I think them were the four places, to, the hardest places to blow up. Um, Miami's super hard to blow up, but I think New Orleans is the hardest. New Orleans haven't had a, a mainstream rapper since Wayne. That's been 30 years. That's real. Who can you name from New Orleans that they've had artists pop out with, with certain songs, but New Orleans haven't had an artist in over 30 years. Something's wrong with that. For them to have that culture, to have that accent, which I think this is against them right now in the music world. Um, but I, 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 to my point, I made New Orleans the hardest place to blow up. And GDP, he spoke out about it, and I just named him the spokesman because he's a New, <laughs> he's a New Orleans uh, historian. That's but what he knows about. But why do you think they're one of the hardest places to blow up? Uh, what do you think? Well, is well, going well I wrong? think I think I think New Orleans is the hardest place to blow up because of the murder rate, 
of the hatred there is different. The hatred is so small. If somebody wants to kill you, they'll kill you. Um, the, the they didn't have a DNA lab, which which where people could kill you and get away with it. So it made people more motivated to kill because they knew that it's easier to get away with murders. Mm -hmm. So that plays a part in Hayden. Whereas though, if you are going up or you have a chance to go up, they'll kill you. New Orleans is the murder capital. Mm. Um, and I think their accent plays a part in it too. To whereas though, right now I feel like, and people love the New Orleans accent, right. but I'm talking about in music. Sometimes because they can't understand them. Sometimes it's hard to understand a New Orleans artist. It's, people just don't understand it. And, you know, they'll turn their heads from it. But I think New Orleans is about to have their time again. Um, they're doing their thing. Everything's set up to where Ratchet is cool now. You know, New Orleans is the is the, is the city of Ratchet. <laughs> they go down to Louisiana, Louisiana, period. Yeah. Um, and then I think their beats, too. I think I think Baton Rouge kind of took a little bit of their flavor a little bit. Don't get me into this, uh, Louisiana. I love that. <laughs> but I think it was just Baton Rouge's turn. So I think, I think New Orleans is going to come back around. But I think Miami's number two, though. Miami's mm. super hard to blow up. Wow, um, Miami's super hard with all their resources and the DJ Khaled's and the Birdman's that right. live out there and they don't have a big artist. It's super hard. It's two, Who was I'm, the last big artist to come out of Miami? Miami? Like Trick Daddy. Like on that level, right. it's artists that peaked for Miami, but like at that level, like, oh, I mean, you had the little Pumps and the City Girls. Okay. But I, I'm talking about like a... Uh, a household, well, City Girls, Lil Pump, they household names, but artists that Miami would be proud about, they haven't had that in 20 years. Give me your top five uh, music execs in the game. Um, I like Dame Dash. Um, damn. Top five, you said? Execs. Da I fuck with Dame Dash, man. And me too. Um, I like what he stands for. Yeah. Yeah, I love. We've been in the room, and he mm -hmm. set that room down when he stand for his people. Yeah, bro. I love it, man. Um, damn, that's a good question. Yeah, make you think. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I like what um, I like what Yo Gotti doing. Okay. Um, I like what uh, you know, the whole QC thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like Gazi Empire. Um, just seeing young bosses, man. Like a lot of these dudes. I like shout out New Era Promotion. Um, they're in Florida. They're based out of Florida. I would love for y'all to interview them when they come out here. Okay. okay. But uh, they 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 play a part in a lot that goes on in South Florida. Um, like I said, shout out to Rain, too. Not saying he's in my hey, top five. Hey, hey. <laughs> not, 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 saying there's, not, not saying there's like five people who's not yeah. bigger than him, but just me being here and seeing like his he's passionate. Yeah, yeah. He's passionate, man. And sometimes when you're too passionate, you scare people away. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm one of them people, too, that's like super passionate to where like he's super passionate, man. And it's a lot of young cats out here who are really, uh, you know, doing their thing and like even like half pint, you know, half pints doing this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Just, he just did the mixer it, yesterday. Yeah, too. yeah, I yeah. Saw that. You like the new stuff we doing? Success. I like shit like that. He like working. That's he what. working. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.